Hello, this is Lisa Rana, and it is all about recreating that Candy Hearts look with Distress Oxide inks today. I'm stenciling using a brand new two layer heart stencil from Unity Stamp Company and using all the sentiments with a matching background stamp as well. I'm really loving seeing all these oxides layered on top of each other on some craft cardstock for a unique Valentine's Day card or just because card to send to a friend. I have some craft cardstock in a Misty and I'm placing down this full background. It's called Chatty Hearts and it has all these little tiny kind of conversation heart sentiments that you can pop out and use individually or just leave them in this big background to be used all together. I'm using some Gina K Amalgam ink just to get my placement because I will be using a stencil with this background and I kind of want to have an idea of where to put that stencil. So I'm just stamping this in some black ink and then I also have a sticky mat that I'm stamping on and that'll help me with layering up those two stencils that coordinate with this background stamp. So first up is the Candy Hearts layer one stencil. I have a little piece of post-it tape on my sticky mat for the registration marks so these two stencils will line up perfectly. And then I have four Distress Ink colors I'm going to be using to fill in the hearts. You can use just the regular ink pads. I don't have them so I tend to use the refill. And I'm using a little finger dauber and I'm doing every other line in my first ink color which is salvage patina. For the second row of hearts I'm using peeled paint to stress oxide and just finger dabbering that on so each line and then make sure you fill in that registration mark. It's going to be really important when you pull out your candy hearts uh, layer two of the stencil because you want to line up that square that way you know your hearts are going to overlap and work perfectly with the background stamp as well. Just securing everything down and then I'm using some worn lipstick Distress Oxide inks for my first row of hearts and then fossilized amber for the second row. Just making sure I get a nice coverage. I'm going to lift that up and then let that dry really, really well before I do my next layer of stamping. Now I chose to do this in VersaFine Claire and I don't recommend it unless you take the time to let it dry completely. Uh, I think the amalgam might work better but I'm not so sure. But I did stamp over my previous background. I made sure nothing moved in my Misty so that those sentiments would all line up. And then make sure you dry it really well. Either set it aside or bring out your heat tool. I ended up smearing one of my sentiments, so I'm going to fix that by die cutting it out with a heart. <laughs> I flipped over that craft cardstock and I'm just going to fill in that space. And then I also die cut some layers from black cardstock. And we're going to be using this to build up the card. Fun fact, I accidentally filmed my lunch instead of the building of the card, but to give you an idea of what I did, I used the Sentiment Hey Girl from the Big Hearts stamp set and then the little tiny heart from the Sunshine and Rainbow stamp set and then filled in that craft heart that went into my die cut center. And this is the final look. I really love the way those oxides layer on the craft cardstock for a soft pastel look. I'll have all the supplies linked in the description of this video on my Dollhouse Designs YouTube channel and blog. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Plus, if you have any questions or a sweet comment, post below. Thanks for creating with me. I hope you were inspired and I'll see you again soon. Bye.